Welcome to Star Citizen and the XXL guide to the missile operator mode. In this guide we take a detailed look at the missile operator mode which we find with the 3.14 in the game. Here we have expanded controls and options over missiles and torpedoes, which can be used not only by the pilot, but also by the co-pilot. So we'll go step by step through all the sections, all the standard buttons you need, as well as some tips and tricks that can help you with the new operator mode. And with this first version of the Missile Operator mode, we get again an extension for an active multi-crew gameplay, which fits directly into the power management, for which you can of course also find an extensive XXL guide here on the channel and extends the gameplay. With the middle mouse button we get, from the operation of the ship's weapons, into the Missile Operator mode. If we mark the ship as a target with the T key, we can switch it on a sufficient distance for our missiles and lock in. To do this, we center our view on the target, which results in a green confirmation after acquisition, as well as an extended lock on by small green bars. Once this is complete, we have reached a maximum lock on. With the G key, we can select the number of missiles to arm depending on the number of missile batteries. The bars on the missile display indicate the status of the individual missiles. In the case of the Constellation Taurus, we have four missile batteries and can therefore fire four missiles simultaneously. We fire these with the left mouse button. Afterwards, we see that the previously determined number of missiles is slowly refilled. As soon as the last one of the bars is filled, we can again fire a single missile or a whole group. For a successful target acquisition, which is represented by a green confirmation, as well as by an extended acquisition by means of the additional bars, we must keep a minimum as well as a maximum distance, depending on the missile type. This is represented by the range to the left of the missile selection and turns red when we are out of range. A guided firing is already possible after a basic acquisition, as well as the green marking. A maximum hit result, however, is given after the extended acquisition. Currently, it is possible to fire a maximum of four missiles at the same time. It is important how many different missile batteries your ship can use. One missile per battery is basically possible. A restriction or extension of this maximum number is possible at any time in the context of balancing. The number indicates the available number of missiles of the display type. The Roman number next to the name indicates the missile size, and the symbol indicates heat, cross-section or, as in this case, an electromagnetic missile version. With the G key we increase or decrease the missiles to be fired, and with the right mouse button we can switch through the different types of missiles. Thus we have the possibility to decide for ourselves whether to fire up four missiles at the same time, but with that we run the risk that they will all be deflected by the use of countermeasures, but in case of a hit, on the other hand, they will cause a lot more of damage. And after we have already presented the minimum and maximum ranges for active switching and guided firing of missiles, the missile operator mode now also offers unguided firing of missiles and torpedoes, which can be especially effective against larger ships. For this a close range is especially advantages as well as planning the enemy's flight path in advance. This surprise attacks from a short distance are possible as well as extremely damaging. And of course, a guided firing in the operator mode, directly and without time delay, is possible by an active switching on more distant targets. And 
and since hitting smaller targets is considerably more difficult, especially with a movement component, larger ships are predestinated for such forms of attack. And here, of course, the use of large torpedoes is possible, as well as extremely lethal. Not only the missile operator mode offers gameplay mechanics for a co-pilot, also the possibility of an active energy distribution during the fight can be made by the co-pilot. Details on this can be found in the dedicated Power Management XXL guide, where you can find all the buttons and options. And in combination with the improvements of the turrets, it is even more worthwhile to have a man in the turret as well. Here we take a big step into a meaningful and powerful multi-crew gameplay, which will be further expanded and refined by the upcoming versions, because already now it is finally worthwhile to go into battle with the crew. The co-pilot can also use the missile operator mode on some ships, whereby the co-pilot has access to the same functions as the pilot. However, some ships do not yet have an UI for this or are not yet compatible. At the start of 3.14, ships that have an unrestricted view in the direction of light are particularly suitable. Here we already had a lot of fun with the full crew. Where the pilot can concentrate on combat, a co-pilot around the power distribution and the missiles, as well as one or more gunners in the turret, provide for a significant increase in firepower. And here an expansion of the usable ship for these mechanics is planned in the short term. So I can only recommend you to start into version 3.14 as a co-pilot or gun in a turret and experience the differences directly yourself. And especially ships which have an extended missile capacities like the Reliant Tana, the Constellation Andromeda, a freelancer missile or similar, are very well suited for this. Because also in the area of man turrets, we have the advantage that they have their own capacity supply, which leads to the fact that we can act independently of the pilot's armament, and this reduces the pause and fire significantly. This multi-crew activities are strengthened it clearly, which is also reflected in for single pilots, higher difficulty. I hope you enjoyed the video and leave me a like and maybe even a subscribe here. The changes to the missile operator mode, as well as the ability to control the power distribution as a co-pilot, brings us more multi-crew gameplay and makes a co-pilot extremely useful. Also the turrets are no more powerful and not just an accessory. But as always, I'm interested in your opinions on the subject. What do you think about the missile operator mode and the co-pilot's abilities? Feel free to tell me in the comments, in the Discord or in the almost daily Twitch livestreams. And as always, the most important at the end, a big thank you to our Patreons, channel members and Twitch subscribers. Without you, this would not be possible in this forum. You are a huge motivation. Thank you for your support. You rock! And of course, there will be extensive giveaways again this month. How you can participate and what to expect, you can see in the following announcement trailer. Good luck and have fun! I say goodbye until next time. See you soon and as always, see you in the verse.
Russian.